Hello and welcome to this video. We have a lovely property that we're working on today and they have very, very high levels of radon gas. So we've got a lot of setting up to do. We'll talk you through what we're going to be doing. We're going to be working in here, the dining room. This had elevated levels of over three and a half thousand becquerels after a long-term test. The room adjacent to this is the living room. There's a really cool history to this property. The living room and the dining room used to be an old barn and tractors would actually drive straight through. We can usually work around the customer's belongings but this job, we needed the whole room. The customer decided to go and stay with family for a few days, which meant that we could use the living room as a storage room. The dining table was far too big to fit through the door into the living room, so we put it into the entrance hallway right next to the front door. Fortunately, there is another door into this property that goes straight into the dining room. We chose to use this entrance, so that's why we're putting some carpet down to protect the door frame. There is a gap between the ground floor and the first floor, as you can see here. So to stop any rising dust, we use cover polythene sheeting. We use parcel tape for the windows and walls and duct tape for the carpet. Duct tape can pull the paint off the wall or it can leave a sticky residue behind. So now that we've removed the carpet yeah. and all of the underlay, Mm -hmm. and carefully stored it throughout in there so it doesn't crease for the future. Yeah. Our plan is to try and extract the radon from below the ground. This is a solid concrete floor and we don't know how thick it is. We're looking to put a sump here. We need from that sump chamber, put a breech pipe into that back room. The far wall is below ground. That particular room has a raised floor level and the actual radon gas levels are over 10,000 becquerels per cubic meter of air. From this sump, we're going to try and excavate the floor and come across to this locality over here. We want to try and put another sump in the ground, somewhere around this area. From there, we need to go under the ground, under the wall, into this cupboard, and we want to rise the pipework in that shelved area. From that location, we need to get over to this end, under the ground to a pit, and then underneath that wall into this room, creating a negative vacuum below the floor slab. We can then pump it up through a fan in that cupboard and we have to drill a hole through this external wall to an outlet. That will be wired up on a three amp electrical fuse spur. So we're going to start digging in the cupboard first because one of the main obstacles we have is tunneling underneath that wall. We stop at the depth of the blue damp proof membrane and fully expose it to see if we've made any damage. Next, we get a short piece of pipe with two brackets on to show where we want to be coming up. We now know where to cut the membrane to dig the rest by hand. Using the breaker, we carefully chip away at the concrete. We take it in turns with a breaker to manage the hand arm vibration exposure. Now that we're past the damp proof barrier, we can hand dig with shovels because it's nice and soft. We wear these face fit masks with detachable filters so we can replace them after each job. We pride ourselves in our health and safety measures, including keeping our site as tidy as we can to stop any slips, trips and falls. We carry the buckets together and load them into the wheelbarrow and then we take them down to the back of our van. Again, we lift the buckets together and load them into a bulk bag ready for our forklift to offload it when we get back to base. Back inside, we have now breached underneath the wall in the corner of the cupboard to our trench. Fortunately, the wall was built off of the concrete floor, otherwise this could have gone down an extra foot or so. Now it's time to start on the trench to head towards the corner. We need this to be a long rectangle shape just wide enough for our shovel and our radon pipe, which is 110 mil PVC. There's a hell of a lot of digging on this particular job. There are systems where they require no digging at all, they're my favorite. And there's also ones when they're outside, so we have no disruption inside at all. It has been chucking it down with rain today though, so I'm very happy that we're inside. If you're interested to see our other systems and how we test for radon gas, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow our socials. You'll see everything on there. This sump needs to be deeper than the other two, and that's because we're going to be tunneling from this sump under the living room floor. And the living room floor actually steps down a foot. We're focusing on digging out all of the concrete first before we pierce through the membrane. Once all of the concrete is out, we can split up and dig by hand. Do you want to explain quickly why we haven't just dug all of the concrete out? We've left these bridges in, so we're going to tunnel underneath. The actual floor slab entirety will be bonded together and binded between the breaches, between each compartment. Yeah. So it keeps it all intact. And as you can see, with all this spoil that we've got here, if we did remove the whole lot, 
we've got probably about another half a ton. Or more, yeah. Or more to remove. But we're doing yeah. really well, aren't we? Not too bad for a 70 year old. Yeah, 70. Leave a like and subscribe. 7 0 in the 70 <laughs> Club now. <laughs> it's definitely time for another tea. We still need to go about this deep for the trench to bury the pipe and this deep in the two sides. Okay, I can see it. There's the pipe, take it to you and empty it. So, we're now through from the middle sump to the first trench. Okay, a quick update of where we are there. So this one is dug, we've reached underneath here. We still need to dig the far end sump. We've done half of it so far. We still need to breach underneath here as well. The far end, we've breached here. We have the rest of this trench to dig out. And this sump is completely dug out. We do need to breach this way into this room and go this way as well. We do need to breach under there. That's true, surely. My name's Phil, not Shirley. That's all for part one. Please like and subscribe to this video and watch out for part two and we'll see you over there very soon.